asset protection is a subject that's very near and dear to my heart. I practice a lot in asset protection with physicians and other professionals and business owners to help them insulate their assets from frivolous lawsuits. You know, it's hard to realize, but there's 80 million lawsuits filed in state courts across the country every year. And most people aren't worth suing. So they're trying to target people like you and me who have wealth to go after. In addition to that, there's one out of two marriages that don't make it that end in divorce. There's foreclosures and bankruptcies, car wrecks that lend themselves to judgments, all sorts of attacks on your wealth. This is a subject that should interest everyone. And as I mentioned, it's particularly of interest to professionals such as doctors and dentists who are sued for malpractice claims, business owners who have employees or sell a product or service. There are also strategies that you can employ in your traditional estate planning to help protect your estate for your family, your spouse, your kids, in case they get sued or divorced. But what I want to focus on is, is what can you do to protect the assets for you if you happen to be the victim of a lawsuit? I think of asset protection planning as this yardstick. And like with any yardstick, there's a measure or gauge that in this case, on the scale of a zero to 10, with zero being you've done no asset protection planning, and 10 being you're totally bulletproof and nobody can take anything away from you. Wouldn't we all like to be a 10? Unfortunately, procrastination makes most of us be a zero. And under a zero, you're like a lightning rod out in the field waiting to get struck by a lawsuit. So my job is to visit with you and figure out the strategies necessary to take you from a zero to a 10. And I have a tool chest full of ideas to be able to do that. What I call the Van Ways Five Steps of Asset Protection Planning. There's a certain logic and sequence as to the steps that you should take to get you over to a 10. If this is a topic that's of interest to you, I would welcome your contact and let's sit down and have some serious discussions. Thank you.